morning folks and welcome along to the channel this morning for another incredible sunrise look at this amazing scene this is White Adder Reservoir um, just outside of Edinburgh and the, uh, the first time I visited this place and to capture it in this setting 20 minutes before sunrise completely alone and amongst all the heather absolutely incredible when I went over the I come over the hill at the back there and I followed the road and I was engulfed in steam coming off of the uh, coming off of the reservoir and it's just absolutely glorious there's a nice little bit of cloud in the horizon that I'm hoping that the sun when it bursts over sets up a nice orange glow but I'm taking a five bracketed shot just to capture the darkness of the heather and I'm setting up the brightness of the sky now I've got my filters with me this time so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some of the filters that I've got I've got some graduated filters and um, so that I don't need to bracket every shot blend them in uh, an aftermath I'm trying to do the best image possible you can see around here around about me possibly um, some of the animals and stuff that's uh, quacking away they're probably not used to somebody like me coming up here at this time in the morning and uh, disturbing their peace but what an amazing place I'm going to get the drone up and I'm going to go for a wee flyover um, and see what's going on. So let's um, let's see if we can get the first shot of the morning, pre-sunrise, and uh, yeah, we'll continue to explore and see if there's anything worth capturing. So thanks again for coming along to the channel and another adventure here in Scotland. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get an excellent image this morning. So let's go and have a look. So I'm continuing with the uh, same composition. The composition I've went for just now is, is nice and simple. My hands are freezing. Um, so I've went for the heather in the foreground, just at the bottom here, um, nice purple colours. And I've got the uh, I've got the actual reservoir with the, the steam coming off it in the background there. Now just up in the top corner there, there's a plane just flew over the top of me that's leaving a bright red vapour trail. And it looks absolutely insane. There's nothing for the whole length of the sky until you get over there and there's just a vapour trail just appeared. It's absolutely incredible. But what I've got is I've got a car coming towards me now that's going to go across this wee bridge. And it's just hit the cattle grid the now. I was going to try and capture a long exposure when it gets into the distance there with its lights. So what I'll do is I'll wait till it gets over there. I should really set up with uh, the long filter but you can see the car down there so I'm going to see if I can capture it as it goes through I'm still bracketing my shot at the minute um, so let me just see if I can get the shot just now so I've got a two second timer on and I'm doing the five bracketed shot just because of how much the dynamic range of the scene is and um, starting from the darkest point on the heather all the way to the slight orange glow that I've got in the sky and the sunset's still just kind of five ten minutes away from now um, I've had the drone up for a wee fly around um, as you can probably see behind me there, she's all parked up, um, my hands are absolutely frozen and my thumbs all falling apart already, um, the joys of landscape photography but this has been worth every second of it, this is the first time I've been to White Adder Reservoir so I'm so happy that I've come up, it's taken me about 45 minutes to get here and so simple, I didn't realise this was so close to where I live absolutely incredible place it really really is now just in the top corner there i can actually see that vapor trail let's see if i can get it in the shot if i just do that i can actually get it in the shot so it's right on the tip of the top uh, left hand side so i'm not going to get it in the shot um but shooting where i am just now let me just uh expose for the first shot in the middle now there's an absolutely stunning orange glow starting to appear in the background there as you can hear it's five rapid shots each one's a different exposure length um, and what it does is basically grab all the way through the scene um, if you've watched any of my previous videos I have bracketed a few times before <clears throat> but what I'll do just now is I'll set the filters on and I'll give you a look at how to set up on the uh, on the filters and things like that for the morning shoot as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit closer to the, the reservoir maybe over to the other hill here I don't want to go disturbing whatever it is that's down in the wildlife wise down there um, but um, what we'll do is we'll try and get some filters on and we'll have a look at that as well 
And what I'll do is I'll show a comparison with bracketing and with filters. So what I'll do is I'll get the filters set up just now. The bracketing shot is taken, so let's set up for graduated filters. So what I've done, so what I'm doing just now is I'm setting up the shot with the half graduated one stop filter in there just to bring the sky in now it's actually creating the scene it's absolutely fantastic so <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm shooting at ISO 200 native ISO for the Fujifilm and uh, well it's 200 or 400 I think it's one of the two of them anyway where you get the best dynamic range but what I've actually got I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there <clears throat> I'm shooting at f11 ISO 200 at 23 millimeters and what I'm actually capturing coming off of that off of the reservoir is you can see the the steam coming off wrapping itself around <clears throat> and with the graduated filter it's just bringing the color of the sky in that you can see just in the background there and it's looking absolutely sensational it really really is I'm over the moon absolutely over the moon so what I'm doing is I'm actually underexposing because the rod, the dynamic range of the camera is actually not too bad so if you expose for the highlights um, which I'm doing just now with the two second timer again expose for the highlights because oh my god wow wait till you see this that is amazing see if I can turn you around see if I can turn you around wow right I don't know if you'll be able to see this and I do apologise about the, the mess I'm making but wait till you see this I need to capture this, see if I can darken it down a little bit, but I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but there is just the most incredible sunburst just come out of that just now. Now I need to refocus my scene there. I absolutely love it when it comes together. I don't know if you can see that, but there's just this massive spike of uh, of sun glow just come out of it just now, and it's absolutely insane. I cannot believe it. Wow. I don't know if you can see it on here. Look, just here. You see those lines? Wow. That is amazing. I'm so impressed with that. Wow. Oh, that is just absolutely glorious. I know this is a little bit all over the show. I know it's a little bit all over the show with the way things are going and how I'm uh, how I'm shooting the scenes and things. But I just that's that's exciting. That to me is 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 just perfect. Absolutely on point. Oh, I'm falling over now. I'm standing up here with the geese, as you can maybe hear them, just flying by. I can't stop, I can't stop shooting the scene. I genuinely cannot stop shooting the scene. It changes every two seconds. Amazing. I've even got the steam coming off here now. What an experience, what an experience. This this is why I woke up at half past four this morning to drive up here. What an experience. <laughs> Amazing. And I'm so happy that I brought you along with me as well. Brilliant. Let's go for a wee wander and see if there's anything else I can see. I've my composition a little bit here and I'm now shooting slightly different angle on the reservoir this time I'm trying to use the road as a leading line 
Now you'll probably notice I've taken the filters off the front of the camera. As I was moving, the camera fell over on this long grass and the filters were absolutely soaked. Um, so I'm back to the uh, five shot bracketing again. Uh, this time using the, the road as a leading line again. Five shot bracketing on the, on the reservoir. It's not really working as a shot to be honest. It's, uh, it's not really working as a shot. But it's something a little bit different from the morning. And in the background you can see some, uh, some cars appearing. I've got a lovely mist that's blown across the road as well. So I'm going to wait for these cars to come through. And when they're blended it will create almost a light trail as such. Um, it will create like a Doppler effect on there. So 2 second timer, F11, 5 shot brackets. The car's coming. Two seconds, and what it'll do is it'll capture that car as it moves. It's not giving me a light trail, what it's giving me is a solid car in the shot. Actually quite a good wee position here for, uh, for a, a car shoot. If you can find yourself the right position, you could actually shoot a car crossing that wee reservoir there and use it as an advert, so that's something I've no, I'll note for the future. But again, five shot bracketing. The road's just on the corner of the shot, just leading through to the sun, giving you that endless road look um, that I'm going for as well. My hands are absolutely freezing, the camera's absolutely soaking, and the sun's still creating that lovely big sunburst. So, uh, I'm over the moon with how this morning's turned out. I really am. But let's... Uh, Let's go down closer to the road and see if I can capture that leading line um, and see if there's a shot there. climb the hill twice every time we want to make a video and having just done that little walking scene there I understand exactly what they mean it's quite a steep hill coming down to the river's edge, the, the reservoir's edge and I'm setting up the shot just now um, with the heather in the bottom here and the steam coming off the background there and the steam blown across and it's just fantastic it really really is I've moved the scenes again, this is the third composition I've got now. There's still colour in the sky. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to move around. I think I'm going to drive the car over here in a minute. Because just around here there's another fantastic hill if I can climb up it. Will give me another amazing shot across. So there's endless composition, so 100% I'll come back here. So for sure, uh, if you like what you're seeing just now, remember just to hit that wee thumbs up button at the bottom, it does, uh, I do appreciate it lots, it's nice to see the feedback and comments and things as well. And I like to share videos that not always people will go to these places, um, some of the landscape photographers you get on uh, on YouTube and things like that will go to these massive um, popular places, um, Glencoe, Sky, things like that, and not do a local area, that's the main thing is just to do around about your local area. Local area. And this is 45 minutes from my front door. And I'm here by myself. Absolutely beautiful sunrise. Loads of wildlife. Loads of heather. Amazing scenes. And it's right on my doorstep. And what's the point in driving for six and a half, seven hours for a photograph that everybody's already seen? So this is uh, absolutely incredible. I'm so happy. I'm a, I would love to drive my car up to the hill up there, there is a trail, I don't know if it's a walking trail or it's a driving trail, but absolutely incredible. So what I'll do is I'll spin you around and I'll put you back here and I'll give you a look at the scene and I'll shoot it because the sun's just about to breach over the hill in the distance there and I want to get one more shot. So I'll move you around the corner just now. So as you can see there, the sun's just breaching the, uh, the main horizon. So what I'm doing is just setting up the pan lock just so that I can get the full reservoir in with the steam in the distance here. Again, bracket in the shot. Just 
straighten it up. Heather is in the foreground here, all this purple colour. Um, and the sun is literally just breaching on the top. So if I take the shot, I'll capture that whole scene. And it's actually caught a sunburst as well, just in the low part of the, the trees there. Now what I'm actually going to do is, I'm not going to go straight away just because sunrise over, I'm not just going to disappear home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive over this reservoir, I'm going to drive to the other side. And I'm actually going to see what else I can get. I'm, I'm definitely going to come back here, 100%. It's been absolutely phenomenal. There is endless compositions to be had. I'm just going to keep shooting this actually while that sun just breaks, just to capture a little bit of the detail in the background. The sunburst looks incredible. So I'm over the moon with the sunburst. Five shot brackets again. I enjoy bracketing. They're just less free with the um, with the filters and things like that. So yeah, I think that's pretty much me done here. As much as I'm gutted to see it, sunrises do come to an end. But wow, just wow. Just stand here in the silence all day. Amazing, absolutely incredible. Listen to how quiet it is. This is why I do sunrises. That's why I don't like sunsets because everybody's awake at sunset. brings today to an end. What an amazing sunrise, what an amazing uh, set of photos, just a great day out. So that was White Adder Reservoir, um, just, just south of Edinburgh. I'm now back into the Scottish borders again, heading towards Duns. It's time to go and grab a coffee and uh, get back home, get some editing done and possibly look at doing a sunset tonight as well, which that'll be the second video today. So all the cars packed up, I've got the big lens on the camera just in case I do come across some wildlife stuff on the way back. But I will leave you with a, a funny little image at the end of this video um, that I captured just, just as I was coming along the road. I couldn't miss it. So thank you very much again for coming along to the video today. It's been absolutely fantastic to have you with me. Great drone footage, great footage all together today. So if you want to smash that like button at the bottom, I'd greatly appreciate it. Remember, subscribe at the bottom, get the little bell on. We'll be doing this again, winter's coming, there'll be colours in the trees coming soon as well, some more videos coming, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting out again soon. Um, going away over the next couple of months, um, we'll be doing some distance travelling, um, obviously doing round about the Scottish Borders area and the Edinburgh area as well. So yeah, fantastic. So thank you very much again for coming along um, to the video, and uh, I look forward to you on the next one. Bye for now.